Duhero guys, this is Durka, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon TikTok OU Laddering Time. As I told you yesterday, I had did record about like four battles and, you know, didn't record them because I was laddering off screen, but I thought they were good battles. So, uh, you know, I saved the replays so that I could share them with you guys. And yeah, not much else to say, let's get into this. But if you are, you know, hyped for these battles, remember leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. You know, talk to me. I like talking to you guys. It's good stuff, good shit. And, uh, yeah, I know that Let's Plays on my channel are more popular, but, you know, I am a battler. I love battling, so without further ado, let's get into this. I, as you can see, I'm still, I'm, for some reason, I'm on the right side, he's on the left side, I don't know why, but... As you can see, I still have my old same team as from yesterday. I went into, you know, depth on my team at the end of yesterday's episode, so if you want to check that out, I suggest looking at yesterday's episode. I won't be doing that today. But as you can see, he has a Starvaptor, a Pinsir, obviously Mega. A Tyranitar, a Thunderous, a Con- I'm not sorry, a Heatran, and a Starmie. So, you know, I was thinking Thunderous lead, maybe a T-Tar lead, possibly even Heatran. So, you know, Conkelder would look like it'd be a safe lead. But no, no, he goes straight for the Pinsir lead. So, that- that's scary. That's scary. If you look at a Mega Pinsir in the face, it is fear. You are- you get afraid, man. You get afraid. So, of course, I automatically- I automatically switch out into my Rotom Watch. Here, he gets a crit. It's unfortunate, yeah, I could have lived another one after Leftover's recovery if he did not get a crit, I believe. So that was really bad, that was really bad. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything about that though, so, you know, you had to do it. So I predict him to, you know, switch. It's obvious, nobody stays in the Lando T if they can't one-shot him. And I'm predicting the HP Ice go straight back into Conk, no reason not to. Thunderous cannot touch Conk. He goes for a Thunder Wave, mistake. Uh, I mean, Thunder Wave could help him later on, but the thing is, I am Guts boosted now. He goes for the Rabbit Spin. Unfortunately, I get paralyzed here. I was going for the knockoff. I knew he would go for Rabbit Spin. It was obvious. But uh, here, I have to sag off my Rotom. Once again, if my Rotom did not take that critical hit, he would be able to live and actually leave, uh, go for a Volt Switch on this Darmy. But it's okay. I predict his switch beautifully. Go for the Pursuit. The Scissor is putting in the best of work. Uh, he goes into his Heatran. I'm not sure what he wants to do. It looks like a support Heatran because of Balloon. But he gets another critical hit and kills my Lando. It would not have killed. I did the Calc. It would not have killed my Lando. And here, I get lucky, I do not get paralyzed, pop the Heatran, get back to my HP. If I did get paralyzed this turn, I would have to go for the Mach Punch next turn. But you know, it worked out, I go for the Mach Punch this turn, because I don't need this Conk Elder anymore, I just need to get damage on that thing. Troy Scarf Heatran, takes out Pinsir, Mega Pinsir, easy KO. So I'm like, I still need my Troy Scarf Heatran, so I go back into Scissor, he misplays here by going for the D-Dance. If he went for... A Stone Edge, or maybe if he had Fire Blast, if you want, for the, I don't think he has Fire Blast, but if you went for the Fire uh, Stone Edge, maybe twice, I would have died. I think I would have died, but no, he he gets greedy, goes for it. So you know, I go for a Bullet Punch here just to sack off my Scissor. Get that does 55% damage at minus. Oh, that's neutral because I have a Choice Band. But uh, yeah, here I'm guaranteed the win. Um, I go into Manetric. Manetric is faster than Star Raptor, no matter what. Even if if, if I wasn't, uh, Heatran would clean up. So, uh, yeah, here he actually does the data calc, which I thought was really funny. I say GG, and then he, he, doesn't, and he doesn't say GG back, so I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and then I come back because I wanted to get the replay, and I see that he's doing the data check, and I'm just like, dude, dude, I'm faster. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm faster. But, uh, yeah, that was a quick battle. That was a powerful battle. That was a very decisive battle on my part. I think I did really well in this battle. I was really happy when I did this battle because I predicted him, like, perfectly. Pretty much predict predicted him perfectly. So that was, I felt great. <laughs> I personally felt great. I sound like a scumbag, but it felt amazing. Alright, and then we got our second battle. This was against Phoenix King 21. Thanks for the battle, bruh. And let's get into this. So I start off my Manetric because, like, looking at his team, he's got Darmanitan, which is power. Which is power. He's got a Pinsir. Pinsir Mega Pinsir is pretty common in OU. What do you know? So is Thunderous, of course. Uh, so he's got Thunderous, Excadrill, Azumarill, Trevenant. I haven't seen Trevenant in a long time. So I was like, huh? But anyway, Darmanitan and Pinsir. So, you know, looking at his leads, I was thinking maybe he'd lead off that Choice Scarf. I was thinking of Choice Scarf Darmanitan because U-Turn is a thing. Maybe he start off at Thunderous. So, you know, Manetric was a safe lead. So, I go into Manetric. I'm thinking it's a Choice Scarf, uh, you know, Excadrill. So, I actually ran a Calc at this point. The Calc was to see if Overheat would one-shot or, if, I mean, if Earthquake would one-shot me. And it actually doesn't. There's no way, there's no way uh, Earthquake could one-shot me unless he gets a crit. So I stay in, go for the, you know, Mega Evolution, crit, I mean not crit, uh, Intimidate, Overheat, and 
he's not he's not choice scarf. He's actually a stealth rock set, which was a huge misplay on his part. Looking at my team, there's absolutely no reason to not go for not try to take out the threat that is Mega Manetric. There is no reason for him not to go. It was too early in the game. Like I go by the credo, try not to predict too early unless you know the person. After maybe after a couple turns, you get his field, then you can you, then you should go on predicting. But if the first turn you attack what is there, you want to see what his initial switches switch ins are to you know th the Pokemon you have, so that you can plan accordingly. That is a really important, really important idea that everybody should uh, you know go by. But yeah, so as you can see, I go for the nice and clean overheat and then into a hidden power ice to knock out, you know, knock it out. So I'm scared that uh, his shof Shofu, his Shofu is Choice Scarf. So you know, I go into Lando T because Lando T is a pretty good check. He actually goes for the Earthquake because he's like, you know what, I have to get rid of that threat and killed my Pokemon. So uh, yeah, easy prediction. Easy, he, I was pretty sure he was, you know, choice in some way. So you know, I just switched. Cockelder is an amazing switch in to uh, Thunderous because most Thunderouses at lower ladder slash middle ladder do not carry a hidden power flying. Most of them stay with hidden power ice. So he goes into his Volatile, because I predict I predict his Volatile to come out actually, as you can see. He switches out. I go, uh, he switches in his Thunderous. I switch in my Conk, of course. So I'm predicting there's no way he's staying in on a Conk. So you know, of course, I switch out into my Rotom because I I was actually predicting either the Pinsir to come out or the Azumarill. So I'm like, okay, Rotom Watch has a good matchup against both of them. So I go for the Volt Switch, which gives me the needed damage because I pop it because I happen to pop his Citrus Berry. He goes for the Belly Drum, another misplay on his part, and a Bullet Punch guaranteed Oko. No, even if I wasn't banded, it would have been an Oko. So he goes into the Manitan. I'm like, okay, whatever. Let me get some, let me get some damage on this thing to guarantee a kill. And he goes with the Flare Blitz, so I'm thinking he's choice, you know, I'm still thinking he's choice. So I go to my Scarf Heatran, and I go first. Exactly, I was confused too, I went first. So I wasn't sure if he was Scarf, maybe he was Bandit. Maybe he was Bandit, I don't know, but we won't know. But then he goes straight into his Trevenant to sack it off for some reason. And now he goes into Thunderous, I don't know, I don't want to take any risks, so I switch out, of course, into my Manetric. He goes for the Knock Off, which... It was a good thing I switched out. Just know that. Just know that it was a really good thing I switched out. If I didn't switch out, I would have done a lot. Ah, actually, it wouldn't have mattered because I could go for. He couldn't go for an SD. Here he makes a smart move and does not go for a Mega Evolution. So uh, Thunderbolt does not knock him out, but it doesn't really matter. I have Heatran, Choice Scarf, the killer of all all pincers, <laughs> killer of all pincers, and we get a W from that. And yeah, guys, I'm. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, it was pretty short, but you know, there's some pretty uh, nice wins on my part, if I must say so myself. I'm, I'm flexing a little bit. I'm flexing a little bit. It's alright. It's alright. But uh, I was really happy. You know, I was, I was doing really well in these battles. Actually, I was doing damn well in these battles. Actually, so uh, when I saw that I, you know, won so overwhelmingly after that first battle that I lost, if you guys can go check that in the first episode, which was, which came out yesterday. You know, after I saw, after I lost the first battle, I just like stepped up, I guess, and bam, bam, I just came out and started winning games. So you know, I won the next three games in a row. I usually don't record more than like, or record or do more than four or five showdown battles in a row. It's just not something I like to do that much. Otherwise, I get tired of showdown. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, remember to hit that like button, smash it, destroy it, aqua jet it, waterfall, play rough, knock off. Super power, whatever you want to do to the like button, it helps me out, and you know shows your support for the channel. And yeah, yeah, nothing else to say here. This has been Derka, guys. Remember to follow me on Twitter and ask me questions on Ask FM. Both links will be in the description below. And this has been Derka, and peace.